Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how you can start your in-home daycare with under $500. Starting it on a budget and I wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about some things that I think that you guys can purchase that are going to basically equal $489 with 94 cents. So under $500, you guys are gonna be able to start your daycare. So one of the mistakes that I made when I first started my in-home daycare was buying a lot of things new, buying, not even buying a lot of things new. You can buy new things, but I was buying expensive new things. <laughs> there are a lot of affordable alternatives to a lot of the things that I've purchased when I first started my daycare. And if I was to quit my daycare today, go work a nine to five, and then want to start it up in three years, I would not purchase any of the things that I had when I first started. I would purchase the things that I'm going to be talking to you guys about in today's video. I wanted to give you guys two quick disclaimers or two quick tips before we get started, and then I will show you guys what exactly you will need. If you guys want to go ahead and fast forward to the section where I talk to you guys about what you need, I will leave a timestamp, and you guys can go ahead and fast forward. But the two things that I'm about to talk about are really important, so you might want to stick around. So the first thing is that in this video, we're not going to be talking about smaller purchases. We are talking about those bigger purchases. So I'm not talking about your poster boards for your wall. I'm not talking about your sign and binder. I'm not talking about crayons, chalk, any of that. I'm not even talking about the courses that you're going to have to take to start your daycare and how much those cost, which isn't much. I believe I paid under $100 for all of my courses and stuff like that. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the bigger things. So the tables, the chairs, the high chairs, the pack and plates, all of that we're going to be talking about in today's video. The stuff that I'm going to recommend to you guys is going to help you take care of anywhere from four to six kids. So this stuff is going to get you to take care of six kids max. You might be able to make it work for a little bit more kids, but I'm just keeping it safe. Four to six kids is what you're going to be able to take care of with the supplies that I'm talking about. The second thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is once you guys know that this is something that you guys want to do, start to thrift, start to ask for donations, get on Facebook and look for people that are getting rid of things, and also start going to garage sales. These things can easily be donated to you guys and found really cheap at all of these thrift stores and all of these garage sales, so I would recommend maybe emptying a side of your house and start piling all of the stuff that you need into that corner i recommend starting to spend the money once you're like okay i open monday and i need a few things and then you can go ahead and start buying things but try to get as many free things and donated things and cheap things as possible before biting the bullet that's something that i didn't do so we're going to go ahead and start so i'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the things that you will need to be able to start your in-home daycare bigger purchases these are the bigger purchases under 500 dollars so this table that I'm going to be showing you guys is sold at Walmart. It's $30. It sits for kids. So I know that you guys are probably like, Ashley, you said that this is going to help you take care of anywhere from four to six kids. You can still make it work for six kids. So it says that it sits for, you can take care of those four kids, let them eat their breakfast, let them eat their snack, let them eat their lunch, whatever it is they're doing, let them do their activity. And once they're done, you can have them move on to a different activity and sit the other two. So it's not like if you have six kids, you need a table that sits six kids automatically. You can rotate those kids, especially if you're starting. You're starting on a budget. If you guys are watching this video, because you're on a budget and you wanted to start it on a budget. So use those $30 wisely. Get that smaller table it's going to be linked down below to the exact table that i'm talking about and you can go ahead and sit your two kids in there two kids in there when they're done have them move on to a different activity sit the last two and your six kids are fed or they're done with their activity or whatever the case is i didn't do that i bought a huge table which you guys probably have seen in my videos and i bought separate chairs and i spent a lot of money on those tables and those chairs way more than thirty dollars a couple hundred dollars so the next thing on my list is chairs now you don't need chairs i put an x i put zero dollars on it because you don't need chairs because your bench comes with the chairs attached i purchased chairs and if you guys did want to purchase chairs i would recommend these chairs these chairs are from the brand sprogs i did purchase them a long time ago these are five years old they're really sturdy my husband has sat on these he's over 200 pounds i'm 120 i sat on these my children that are 30 40 pounds they sit on these i've had parents come in that are all different shapes and different sizes and they've sat on these and they are so good i also have not lost any color to these tears i have bleached them i have cleaned them i've had kids 
I have a lot of stories, <laughs> but it's still intact. It's still really good. All of my chairs look like this. I tried finding the worst looking one, and this is the worst looking one. So if you guys can kind of get a view of it, it's really, really, really good and really sturdy. And if you guys wanted chairs, I would recommend getting those. So the next thing on my list are high chairs. Now, I would recommend you starting off with four high chairs because you can either have four infants or six toddlers or a mixture. And I just wanted you to make sure that you were ready for all scenarios. So I said, get four high chairs. If you get four new high chairs, you're gonna be spending $160 if you get the ones that I recommend to you guys. Now, the ones that I recommend to you guys are, I believe by the brand Costco and they're $40. And I started off my daycare with those high chairs. Now, um, my son used a Costco high chair. I'm going to see if I can find any pictures of him sitting in it and I'll show them to you guys. But those high chairs, they're good. They're easy to clean, which is what you really need. And I would recommend getting unisex colors so you don't have to worry about, oh, I have a girl sitting in that color. If you guys, if you guys are that picky. But just know that the different color chairs and the different patterns cost different prices. So for a pink one, I think it was $48. Where if you just get a brown one, it's $30. $9.99 for the chair. You guys get what I'm saying? You guys are gonna understand if you guys check it out. But for high chairs, I recommend to start you off with. The one that I recommend is included in the video. It's linked down below as well. And they're good high chairs. They're not cheap. They're gonna last you for a long time. Next thing we're gonna go into is plates, spoons, forks, and bowls. That's if you're offering meals. If you guys didn't know, you guys did not have to offer meals if you guys are starting your in-home daycare. You can have the parents bring their children with meals and you can either heat them up or um, just give them like their sandwich or serve them or whatever. I provide meals. And I also wanted to let you guys know that if you guys aren't providing meals, your price needs to be reflected and needs to be lowered because the parents aren't getting everything that they would at maybe your best friend's in-home daycare, if that makes sense. But plates, spoons, forks, and bowls are super cheap. I'd recommend getting the ones from Ikea. That's what I started off with. These ones right here. I paid $2.49 for a six pack of these. $2.49 for a six pack of these, $2.49 for a six pack of cups, $2.49 for a six pack of spoons, forks, and knives. The $2.49 includes six spoons, six forks, and six knives, if that makes sense. So it's not like $2.49 for six packs of these, these, and think, no, $2.49 for an 18 pack, if that makes sense. These things have been with me for five years. These are the ones that I started off my daycare with. They are sturdy plates. You guys, they're affordable. The spoons, really good as well. Recommend them. The bowls, cereal, mac and cheese, spaghetti, rice, everything in these things. And their cups as well are super sturdy. And the thing is, the six colors are different colors. So a lot of kids are like, oh, my cup is the pink one. My cup is the blue one. You can get them in the routine of knowing which color is theirs. You can also label them as well. The forks, that's where I'm like a little bit, mm. They're good, but I noticed that since it's like a plastic, the kids like to bite on them. And I do have a few of them where the kids demolished my freaking fork. But for the most part, this set is something good to start off with. And for all of this, like the six packs of all of this, you'll pay $9.96. The next thing that you guys are going to be needing are small mats. I would recommend cots, but because we're starting on budget, you guys aren't gonna get cots, you guys are gonna get the sleeping mats. Now they are $9.99 and you can get them at Target. You can get six mats for $60 and that's all you'll pay for the sleeping. So that's gonna cover you for six kids. Now for the pack and place, I would recommend you getting four. You're gonna get four and it's gonna be $160. So that's new pack and place. That's not including donations, that inclu that's not including thrifting, that's not including any of that. Also, parents sometimes are willing to give you the pack and play that they have at their house because you're gonna be taking care of their kid and they might want it home on Fridays. So you can pack up that on Fridays and send it home. So you guys don't get what I'm saying? So you guys can save a lot of money on pack and plays and all of these other things if the parents provide them for you guys. So the sleeping mats, they're sold at Target, which is really good. You don't got to pay for shipping. If you guys have a Target that doesn't have the mats in their store and they don't sell them, that's not something that they sell, go on Target's website, find the mat, and get it shipped to the store that's near you and you won't have to pay for shipping. You will have to pay for shipping if it's going to go from Target to your house, but if it's going from a Target to a Target, you won't have to pay shipping and you can just drive to the Target and pick up your mats, if you guys get what I'm saying. So... I would recommend cots. I'm going to show you guys my cots. This is actually a 52 inch cot. Now I would recommend these. I've also had these for five years. And what I like about them is 
if a child pees, if a child vomits, which is going to happen, if this gets really disgusting, what we do is we just take it outside, we spray it with chemicals, we hose it down, we soap it, and because this material is so good, it's like a um, meshy, but this is like hard plastic, You, it, it can get really cleaned. Now, the mats, I know that after a while, the mats, they'll start off this, like a pillow. They'll start off thick, and then after using them, after using them, they start to get flatter. So for the long run, I would recommend you guys getting cots, but it is more expensive. It's going to make you spend a little bit over $500, but these are going to last you years. They only are sold also in packs of six, which is what you need. And I think for a pack of six, it's $156. Yeah, for the cots, it's $156.79, but these are going to last you years. So the next thing you're going to need is a changing mat or a changing table. It just depends on what they want you to have, like what your state or your county or your um, caseworker wants you to have. This is the one that I have. I got this from Target, but they also sell it on Amazon. This is a munchkin changing pad, and I like it. It's so so much more uh, space efficient, if that makes any sense, than a changing table. This I can stick in a corner. This I can turn sideways and just slide it in between a smaller spot. It also has this rubber thing so it doesn't slip. The kids really get comfortable on this thing. I've had this for a while now and the kids really do like it and I think that it's worth it. So I would recommend this one. They do have other affordable alternatives online. But I don't know the quality of those. But I know that if you guys buy this, it's really good. It's really comfy and your kids would like it. So you're going to need somewhere to change your kids. So either the changing table you guys can get price-wise. I don't know how much those are going to range you. You guys can go ahead and do your research. But I would recommend getting a changing mat. Again, we're starting on a budget. So I would say get a changing mat over a changing table. You're only going to need one changing mat. The last thing that I would recommend is a bouncer. Now, you're going to want to have a bouncer for a lot of reasons. If you guys have infants, you don't want them in their pack and play all day, okay? You sometimes can't leave them on the floor all day. Having them in a bouncer propped up, watching everything that's going on, watching you cook, watching you clean, watching the older kids run and play, it keeps them entertained and they like it a lot. The bouncer that I'm going to be having included in this video, like in the picture, was the one that I used for my son and he absolutely loved it. I actually don't have it here to show you because I did donate it to a parent of mine that did get pregnant and gave birth and she needed one of those. I gave it to her, but I would recommend that bouncer. It's going to cost you guys $19 and 94 cents so with the one table that i recommended you guys to get no chairs four high chairs six plates spoons forks bowls that whole thing that i showed you guys six small mats the, the cheaper ones four pack and plays or play yards one changing mat and two bouncers you guys are at and this is all new so this is not donations you guys are at 489 dollars with 94 cents now that's buying everything new so if you did have a parent that gave you a high chair and a pack and play you can go ahead and take 80 dollars off of the 489 so you'll be at 409 dollars with 94 cents so again get as much as you can for cheap get as much as you can for free get as much as you can at thrift shops Get as much as you can from garage sales. Do it, do it, do it, do it, and do it again because you're gonna save a lot of money. So that basically completes the video. I hope that this was helpful for somebody out there. I am going to be doing a video on smaller things that you'll need to start your daycare, but I also wanted to recommend you guys, toys is a huge thing that you're gonna need. If you buy a whole bunch of toys and you have all of these, you're set, you're really set. But toys, guys, I just bought a fake guitar. I showed you guys in my thrift haul video, a guitar for a dollar a car for a dollar and when i started my daycare i got a kitchen for five dollars so you guys can really get good deals on toys and there's always always parents that are like oh she has so many toys i need to get rid of some find those people get those things and let them know hey i'm starting a daycare if you guys have any donations let me know i'm willing to take them so it's it, you guys can start you guys can do it just save a couple hundred dollars and you'll be able to start your daycare journey. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I hope this video was helpful for someone out there. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video.